have you ever experienced this picture that's happening here you're logging in you want to do m plus and you can't get in today i want to talk about some things that i think should be changed in m plus or added as an additional things and share my opinions on how to make m plus a little bit a little bit more accessible and also maybe funnier to the broader uh, audience of World of Warcraft. I'm not talking about the 1%. You guys are on your own. You guys have a good M plus state right now. But for us that want to maybe play a little, bit, a little more casual, this video is for you. So, as I mentioned, I think there's stuff in M plus that could be changed, some things that could be removed, some things that could be added, maybe a whole rework of certain stuff to make it more accessible, accessible for you guys. And when I'm talking you guys, I'm talking pretty much 99% of you that don't do rank 1 titles and, you know, your highest key is maybe a 15, you know, still good, I'm not saying that, it's very good, but you know, the, you're you're good at the game but you're not the best and you're still also sometimes you don't have friends to play with i don't always have friends to play with if you want to pug pugging is you know the main factor here i think pugging needs to be changed because we have this elitist sort of community sometimes that we only ex because we see other pro people uh, playing you know the echo team doing mdi they're winning every year and you say oh they play this i must play this too otherwise i can't time this plus 10 key that i'm doing oh. and while i totally in one way agree that yes there is a meta and a meta will carry you a little bit but i don't think it's such a big change when it comes to pugging because Thing that the one thing that I think a lot of people forget about is that when you check the MDI teams that they're pushing, you know they're they're doing this amazing pulls and it's, oh it's all because of their meta specs and yeah they have a lot of stuff but they also they have done this 200 times together they know exactly what to do so it's a difference when you join a random pug that you have no coordination. You want to be just, yeah, it's a different game altogether. So I think there's some change that needs to be happening to make it more accessible. Because as I showed you in the picture, sometimes you get, because you like some class, for example, I, I'm playing Survival Hunter, like mainly. And since I played Survival Hunter last season, it was garbage, like D tier or like last in the tier list. No one invited me. I was still pushing 15s, but that doesn't matter because I was I was I had to do it on my own key oh, every time, and that made it very slow since you can't choose which key to do. So rating came very slow for me. But if you're meta, you get it right all the time. You can pick and choose, you know. So I think that should be addressed, and to a certain level, I think M plus should be more accessible in the way that you don't really need to form the group yourself and with that let's head right into my first suggestion i have three today that i want to suggest and this is the first one so my first suggestion is that for a certain level in m plus i think there should be a dungeon queue same as you have with heroics and normal stunnions. I think up to maybe 10 plus 10 keys, you should be able to just queue it up. If you, you know, you're working, uh, like in, you know, you have some job, you have like maybe two hours to play in an evening every other day, you don't want to spend one hour to get into the dungeon. You want to just queue up and then maybe play something not that high but sometimes you just want to play you know and that's i think is a reality for a lot of players so my suggestion is that you have some sort of mmr you could say as in pvp that 
yes, while you start, you don't, you, you can't just queue a plus 10. There, there must be some sort of saying, oh, you should have played at least to be uh, queuing into the higher ones. But you start off with a plus 2, and then, you know, that's where you can kind of get your gear pretty quickly. You can just queue up and get, get, get playing, you know, get started. Because sometimes you end up sitting here not playing at all for the whole evening and you're kind of just frustrated and you don't want to play again. And I don't want that to happen because it, it is a fun mode. I love M+. But if you're not getting invited because the thing that you like to play isn't meta, then that's sad. And it doesn't matter in a plus two. You can still pump and free chest it pretty easily. Like super easily. And... With that said, I think also there should be, for example, some sort of like integration with the uh, radio system. Like you have rating already, maybe because you've done. I think this should still be staying. The whole in every suggestion now, I agree. You know, I, I'm. I will. I always think that this one should stay because it's a good system for people that want to do it. But for more casual plays, I think it should be a startup level that you can do. That's more just cash flow, you get on, you get to start playing immediately. Instead of having to queue up and, you know, maybe do your own key and yeah. It's a mess. So, maybe if you've gotten 2k rating, because you've you played with friends for the first five days. But then now they're away and you want to play for yourself. Yeah, then you can, then you have the rating to do a 10 by yourself. You just queue up and it's very easy. And... The smart thing with the queue up, I, I think, is that you can't decide a meta there. You will just queue up. And yes, maybe sometimes you will get the perfect comp and you will feel it's a little bit better. But I think that's also a good way of showing with our Dunya system that you can clear a lot of keys with pretty much whatever comp there is. And yeah, I think that's fine. Moving on for the second suggestion. For my second suggestion, I think that there is also meta is a you know very delicate thing because you have to integrate a lot of stuff that's not only it's not only about people doing the most damage. It's also utility and it, what kind of buff you bring to, to um, like ramp up other classes and you know you can combo with this and this you know so of course there is a lot of meta and I think class design should be staying but there are some things that are mainly just annoying and should be removed or as I would like to say added for everyone and that is combat races and bloodlust. It's the worst feeling when, for example, I have four friends I want to play with one evening and we all log on and one of them is tank and we have a healer so we have a full group and we can go full pre-made but all of our mains are, you know, maybe it's priests and it's a warrior and it's a... what else doesn't there? Like a uh, monk as DPS and then you have a warrior tank again and you know you just end up with no combat races or no bloodlust and what do you do i mean <laughs> you're you're immediately at a big disadvantage because combat races are a way of securing maybe some messed up stuff that happened you can you know survive it and bloodlust is just something that everyone count for it you know it's everyone should have it I think that should be, when you go into a dungeon and start an M+, I think there should be just an extra action button that everyone gets with Combatress and Bloodlust. And everyone can press it, whatever. And that's, I think that will just kinda smooth out a little bit of the meta, because now we're still looking, even though they've made good changes here, I think there's still you know, some classes just get left behind because they don't have any of these buffs and they don't bring anything value to the team. But they still do tons of damage, but it's not enough. Because sometimes it's like, I, I need a combat rest, I need a bloodlust. You know, that's 
That's the way of thinking many people have. Uh, but maybe, I don't know, I'm not a game developer, but I'm just saying that I would love it for that, to have combaters and bloodas on every class. It just brings out so much, like, removes these utility spells that is just a must and kind of forces some classes out. Even though they are very good players. I think you you don't bring the class, you bring the player. That's that's what I want to get to. It shouldn't be, oh, I will bring this average evoker because aug evoker is super OP and brings bloodlust and you have this all kind of amazing stuff. And maybe, oh, I want this red paladin because we need a um, combatress right now. Even though I just above him found a warrior that is 300 Ryu higher than me and it's like a old time mythic raider that's better. I'm still gonna pick the red paladin because I need a combatress. And that's sad. I, just, I mean they've made other... And if you've followed M plus for a long time you've seen that they've made very good changes. I'm, I'm not saying M plus is the worst state possible. I remember when it first started some of the affixes were brutal like sanguine. I love what they're doing now uh, moving into the war within. That's they're changing up to this like oh it's not always a bad thing that because you actually gain something too. I think that's a good dynamic and I think they should iterate more on that. And with this being integrated I think this is a good change that could follow. Just add utility buffs. All right. I think, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below and uh, join my discord if you wanna talk about it more. But it's just a suggestion, I'm hoping that maybe one play, uh, one person with um, influence can maybe bring this up to another one, you know, it's a ripple effect. So moving on, we're going to the third uh, suggestion that I have. The third one being, I think this should be also separate to what we have here. I think Rio is a good system uh, in, a, in certain ways. I think this very, it's very fun to push rating and you know you have these leaderboards on your webpage and all that stuff that oh I'm maybe top 500 or you know you could see once you get high enough you can you know start climbing. But other than that, it's kind of just a number for people. If you're not in the top thousand, why do you... I mean, it's a nice to see it go high, but you don't have a perspective, perspective of how good you are in M+. And I think as a separate thing, kind of like what they're doing in PvP, in Rated, I think there should be a ranked system. I think you should be able to go from bronze to diamond or master and grandmaster. Just to have a rank, to say what I, like, how good are you in M+, yeah I'm grandmaster, or I'm diamond, or I'm only silver right now on this character. I think that should be a good thing, really. I know there's a lot of things that need to be done correctly to have it working, but I still think that could, you know, bring out a more fun and interactive way of playing M+, that the whole community can ben benefit from. Because if you go up one rating, or two rating, for a dungeon, it's like, yeah, okay, I got one rating, but it doesn't really, you know, you don't feel anything from it. But if you were to go from, and I think also you should have sub ranks, but not only like silver and gold, you should have silver one, like five, four, three, two, one, and then go to gold five, and then go up again. So you should have a lot of like small stuff. And that could be, you know, simple as once every hundred rating, you get a rank, you get upgraded rank. And depending on those ranks, you also get rewards. I think uh, this discussion has been going on for a long time. We don't really get much from playing or getting higher rank other than it was fun to push. 
I think Blizzard should add more rewards. And depending on a certain rank, it's very easy to say, if you reach gold, you get this armor set. If you get diamond and over, you get a mount. Kinda like in PvP also, you know, you have like this PvP sets that once you, re I think it's like, uh, isn't it 1800 that you can get, uh, why is there so many sets now, that's the new ones. Dun, 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 dun. Which one is it? You get what I mean. Oh, uh, here. Like, you have a season one and you can. <sighs> Why doesn't it show it? I'm so annoyed. Here. You have a set, and of course, you get it. The first one is very basic, but you reach uh, what it's called 1800 or 2k. You get this one. And that's super sick. This was actually a very sick set compared to it. <laughs> like, the difference here is amazing. I think you should have that in a PvE as well, like in M+. I think that should be a super cool thing, and you should have something that you gain for every rank that you get. But I don't know really how it's going to work. I think with this rank system, I think also you should integrate my suggestion number two, that you get everyone to have Bloodlust and Home Address. And also, I think this could be tied into a queuing system as well. I think you could have solar, kind of like no one thought that we would have solar shuttle in PvP, right? Everyone's like, no, it's never gonna work. You know, it's so bad and people love it. I know it's, oh, I don't, I, I'm not gonna say that people love it because I don't play it enough. And I don't know the PvP community, but it's still a permanent mode now that people play. Some people play it at least. I don't know how bad it is or how good it is, but it's a mode that works and they have it integrated in in this I mean oh wow, they even have solar battlegrounds. I didn't know this. But yeah, I I think you should have more of this queuing system. And then if you bring ranks, it's also very more Everyone knows that, oh, you say you're gold 4, everyone knows what you mean, because every other game has it, you know? If you say to someone that isn't a WoW player, and it's like, oh, are you good at the game? Yeah, I have like 3,269 rating. And they're like, that's just a number, <laughs> right? They don't know what's good. But if you say, I'm Diamond 2, yeah, that's very good, right? They immediately know kind of what level you're playing. And uh, yeah, it could be more fun to push and to see your climbing ranks all the time. And also with the rank system as, and also with the solar system, I think you should be able to lose rating and not, right. Mm. Now I just realized another thing that I want to add. Yeah, that's true. I think you should be able to lose rating so you can actually, if you're playing very bad, and this system, I don't know how it's gonna work, but you know, they figure something out. Like they see your DPS, the performance, you know, what you do, and if you failed or not, or whatever, you get certain points minus if you fail the key. And that makes it even more, you can kind of remove the stuff that people, you know, you're right now it's like oh i do i'm doing my key and i invite people and one guy just left in after two boss and who's to blame what's what's gonna happen like no one knows if this guy is getting reported or not and he's not getting a what's it called a punishment for it he's not a nothing the only one getting punished is you for inviting him because your key is lowered one one level and then maybe that's then you don't get rating for it and i think that sucks i think you should if you have worked yourself up to a 14 key you should have a 14 key no matter but then if you lose with it like if you overtime it you should get minus in rating and that system i think could roll on very good because then people could push push and really get 
higher. I don't know. I think it's uh, it's worth considering at least. And as an addition now, I'm gonna add this one too. Uh, what I mentioned is that I don't think keys should be randomized to a certain key. When you clear it, you should be able to choose what key you have. Because frankly, if we're gonna go back to the old... Uh, the first thing that I said, that if you're playing like a class that isn't meta and you get you have to pretty much only play your own key, then you're kind of stuck sometimes. Because sometimes you play, oh, I timed a 15 Uldaman, and now I really need an Elfaru right now. That's like the only thing that's giving me like a bump in the rating. Because then I can say that at least everything is 15, and then I go up, you know, to 16. Sometimes, you know, a lot of the times, you get uh, Asher Vault. Oh, I've already done a 17 Asher Vault. That's super bad. I want to do it again. But you have to, because then you're hoping that you get the Nell Forest again. And then you can go back the whole week. And you haven't gained a single rating, because you're playing dungeons that you've already done. I think that's super annoying. Because for a lot of players, you can't. People don't invite you, so you have to do it your own. And then it's super slow. So... Yeah, I think that shouldn't be changed. Don't make us have randomized keys for uh, rewarding. I think you should just give us the key we want. We should be able to choose. We will still play the shit out of M+. Don't worry, Blizzard. I, I don't think this is gonna be like something that... Oh, no one's gonna play. Yeah, we're gonna play because we... Now we have a straight path to getting higher rating. Sometimes, you know, if you don't have 8 hours a day and a team, it's hard to push very high. And you're making it impossible with this kind of system, where you're just locked in to doing stuff that you don't want to do, because you're hoping that you maybe get it, and trying to queue up doesn't work. So, it's not the best. I'm gonna say that but I think I've rambled on now and I would love to hear your opinions as I said uh, leave a comment tell me what you think I'm also having a discord server that can, you can join and tell me there like do what's your opinion on this should you do you like to have this implemented all three suggestions that I added or do you think I'm stupid <laughs> I mean I just thought of this for a few days and I wanted to share with you because now we're moving into the war within and a lot of stuff is changing with affixes and that's a really good thing. So I think Blizzard is in a state where it can listen now. So I think we should give them options to tell tell us tell them what we want, the players. I mean if they don't listen to the players, what kind of game are we playing, you know? And I know the history, but let's try, right? And of course Every, we've just hit 500 subs and huge thank you for all of you who have subbed to me already um, 1000 seems seemed like a very long way from uh, achieving but it's been going very fast the last couple of months so I'm hoping with your continuous support that we can reach uh, a bigger channel and reach more survival hunters in the future so yeah, subscribe, join the Discord, tell me what you think. I'm also live on Twitch, link is down below, so you can check out when I'm streaming live. I'm gonna probably be streaming like every day in the evening uh, when the War Within hits. All my leveling is gonna be streamed and my first keys, you know, M plus and all that stuff, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you have a wonderful Sunday afternoon, now it's Sunday morning here in Sweden. Or, yeah. And I hope you have a nice week, end of the weekend as well, wherever you are. Maybe you have already started or you're watching this later on, but enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.